Why didn't you say it the first time I said a a Ron? Because it's pronounced Aaron. You done messed up, a Ron! Welcome back, everyone. Well, the Denver PD done messed up. Detaining anti-Scientology protester, Denver Scientology audit. His name is Jay. I'm going to show you what happened here. But first, I want you guys to subscribe, if you haven't already, to Denver Scientology audit. He has been doing a fantastic job out there in Denver regularly. And if anybody wants to send him some financial support on his channel, he's got a link here to his cash app just wanted to at least throw that out there uh because i know people are going to want to get some or he's going to want to request some freedom of information documents relating uh this is not the first time the denver pd has detained him outside of uh the denver organization okay so let me show you this is what happened just before i'm going to go full screen on this well he here's what led up to this by the way, spoiler alert, absolutely nothing led up to this. He's doing nothing but peacefully protesting. He's not even directly outside of the organization. Okay, now. There's some view here where you can see the police car pull up. Y'all probably can't see this. And then there's two of them behind um, a squad car who are talking together. Ah, uh, yeah, he can well, see the see police. Let me get this on camera right quick. Just so y'all can see. <laughs> there they are. Oh, my what goodness. What we got going on. Is that three cars? Is that and three then I'm going to put y'all back down. So I'm also going to plug the phone in so it doesn't die on us. Give me a second, guys. I believe one side of his sign says Scientology traffics children. Oh, let me get this fixed for you. And Scientology destroys families is the other side of the sign. Up oh, here they come. Okay, and uh, what, what is this about? You like how they're blaming him for the fact that they're coming out here for the second time? Treating him like a damn criminal. Okay, that's fine. Okay, that's fine. Keep your hands up. Okay. Now you're gonna rip me down. What, what, can you tell me what you need from me? Well, you know, before y'all just start ripping me around. You're being detained right now. Okay. And, and for what? what, what because, because we believe that you had stated and called dispatch that you have a knife and a handgun in your waistband. So oh. Uh, someone told dispatch that he had a knife and a handgun in his waistband. So do you have reasonable, articulable suspicion that yes, I have made that call? Yes, absolutely. And I do not consent to any sort of seizures. Leave my property at where you And again, guys, they have the, the cuffs tighter than need be. And I want to make it known on the record that this uh, right hand cuff is tighter than needs to be. Jay clearly knows what he's doing when it comes to dealing with the police. This right hand cuff? There's no way your fingers get in there. Yeah, okay, your fingers cannot get in there. And do not touch my cock. Do not, uh, do not, okay, do not sexually assault me. Do you understand that my rights are being uh, violated right now? You have no reasonable articulable suspicion that I am the one who made that call. I never said that. You're making stuff up right now. And no one I already told you, you cannot have the, the reasonable articulable suspicion to have to do that. And what, so go ahead and say that for me then. Because we have a lot of dispatchers who know this is your phone. So we have this guy in the field. Okay. How, how does that make sense that I would make the phone call? Like I said, I'm not going to be. They're saying that Jay himself called police dispatch and said that he had a knife and a gun in his waistband. It doesn't get dumber than this, folks. 
They're asking him if he has a police scanner. You don't have a police scanner. Do, do I have a police scanner? Well, I don't think so. So they're they, 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 they leading you to believe that I don't have a police scanner. I understand that. Do you, do you understand that this is the second time this happened to me? That somebody has falsely called against me. I'm not the one making the calls. Y'all are making ourselves look like these stupid people. We're the ones who are calling me trying to get me out of this. And look, if y'all can't see that for what it is, I have no, like I said, I don't really care to talk to you about it. Like I said, I'm not going to, I do not consent to any searches or seizures. I, I, I do not need, I am, I do not need to provide an ID to you right now. I'm in public. I do not need to carry an ID. Is your name My name is not Jay. He is an expert in dealing with the police, you guys. I will tell you that much. My name is... He's like the streets LA of Denver. <laughs> Literally not good. I, I will be that frank with you. My name is not good. Look, man, we're going to see you behind it. And you have to illegally detain all the allegations. Maybe with a little less profanity. <laughs> They're not even true. Well, we had to tell me you have reasonable suspicion. We had information to believe that you had, you had a weapon okay, on so you. Okay, so clarify that. How, do, how does that lead to me? When you're saying that there was a... I called it in. How do you understand that? How do you understand well, it, that I called it's it? It's all the totality of circumstances, right? right? When we first come here uh, on a call with Stabby, uh, we see you here right in front of the building. And this guy trying to do this with badass. It's like, dude, you're not intimidating anybody. I'm not hey, afraid hey, of you, okay? Hey, 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 yeah, you're just staring me down and trying to, like, mad dog me and shit. I really don't care for you, okay? Like, when you're over there, you're just trying to, try to stare me down. Like, you already know well, what's going to be happening. You already know I'm going to be released. So that's going to be good. Guys, I'm seeing some people asking real quick, what is the, the channel? And the channel is Denver Scientology Audit. If you're not subscribed yet, definitely subscribe. <clears throat> guys, guys, they're saying because I'm drinking tea, that, right, that, that is one thing that is leading them to believe that I'm, I'm the suspect. It's a cult. It's a cult. It's never too late to get out, sir. <laughs> he's still protesting while he's in handcuffs. Oh, my God. What a legend. Do you see what they're doing to me? They're trying to silence me. Do you understand how dangerous this is? Freedom of speech is important. It's never too late to get out. Did you make this? Did you make this phone call? Is this why you're coming up here? Do you understand that they've approached me with guns? And then why don't you question him? Obviously, like he just said he, he just said he doesn't. And I said I didn't know anything. No, I'm not going to give you my name. I have no reason to give you my name. I'm not legally obligated to give you my name. I have not committed a crime. I'll stand and I'm going to continue talking about you. Scientology's a cult! <laughs> <clears throat> Do you not understand how... I'm going to try to interview Jay later today. This is this is insane. I was released under a false detention. Under, under a weapons call. Yes, the same fucking thing. I don't. If I did, I would... I'm already... I, I don't want to give you too much information. I'm already conducting the proper courses of action to get things addressed in, in multiple ways. When did that happen? I'm not You can look it up yourself. You, you, we can't look it up. Look, I don't really care. Care. No, look, you have me in handcuffs. I already told you this shit is too tight. Look, I told you this shit's too tight, and it's, there's no finger that could get put in there, so you need to loosen it. I already fucking told you I could get it. The right, the right hand, you can 
not slip a finger in there. Look at that. You done messed up, Denver PD. Fix it. Fix it. I'm telling you right fucking now, this is it's not gonna continue going this way. Oh, I love it when the police's ego gets bruised. Oh my God, did you hear that? Yeah, just wait till there's 10 protesters outside there instead of just one. Then let's see if the Denver PD changes their tune. It's, it, it's tight. That's a mystery, right? You think that you would be like um, the phone number, let's call it back. Let's trace the phone number. Does it come back to Denver? Did it ping off of the Denver Tower? The police don't even know who called it in. understand how many people are watching that right now you may think it's just me it's not it's really really not love it so continue to make yourself look like fools y'all are, are pretty much the same shit that goes on in LA and this just happened to you dude I already told you what the fuck happened to you man you said it happened to you so it sounds like you're aware that of what's happened right which is what you would say so you're asking me if it's happened before and you just said that it's happened Guys, I never dreamed that auditing these Scientology orgs in the way that the protesters are doing would simultaneously result in basically auditing these corrupt police forces all around the country. It's it's wild. Um, so if you want, well, and when I say corrupt, I don't have any reason to believe the Denver PD is in the pocket of Scientology, but this is abuse of police power. The only reason Jay's still in cuffs at this point is pure ego on the part of the police officers. Please I'm sorry, sorry, sorry. I appreciate I realize you are definitely cordial and respectful, and I apologize if I'm a little upset. I get it. 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 But it's also not my job to be up to I understand. I understand. You're a citizen, correct? So, or make it part. Well, maybe let the public know, unfortunately, hey, there is an emergency going on in the area where there's a threat. Yeah, but when I asked y'all for there, what had happened? How does that interaction go? I should go first. So, if they're trying to let me know how that interaction went, when I asked if there's any threat in there, that you were going to help me. Like I said, y'all do your research. Okay. By the way, guys, the box in the upper left-hand corner of the screen, Jay has his camera set up so that his front camera and his back camera stream simultaneously on his stream. It's pretty sweet. So that's why I can't move that box because that's not mine. Oh, shit, Sherlock. Why would I call the police on myself? I'm talking about IQ. Go, go do something productive. Get me out of fucking cuffs already. Let me continue my protest against the cult that he, that traffics children and doesn't allow their parents to go get them from the organization when they request. Let me out of fucking cuffs already, guys. I haven't done anything. I know, so, and you know I haven't done anything, so let me out. You just said that I didn't make the call, so let me fucking go. Oh, see, they still are telling him that he's the one who made the phone call to the police. This is insane. You said the live stream proved that I did not make the call. So why am I still in cuffs, Lieutenant? Fucking idiot. I, okay, 
make it, but how does it make sense? He literally just said out loud that I didn't make the call. And how, here I am still in fucking handcuffs. Think about it. I don't really care. Go talk to your fucking game. I really don't care. Look, I'm going to take a seat. I need, a, I need, I need to take a seat. Wow, they already reviewed his live stream. Think about it, guys. How stupid they all look. <clears throat> Man, somebody get the news out here. Get the news out here. And I, I'm going to need every single one of y'all's cards. Do not think y'all are going to get off scene without giving me a card. Y'all two in the vehicle, y'all are going to give me a card. Y'all showed up to the shit show, so y'all are going to get it, okay? It's gonna, it's gonna go around for everybody here. I'm sorry to tell y'all. I need a card to serve it. Guys, Jay has uh, 200 more subscribers in just the last 15 minutes. If you're not yet subscribed to Jay, subscribe to him at Denver Scientology Audit. Let's show him a ton of support. I will make sure to get a card from everybody. They could, they could stab me, stab whatever. I really don't care. I already know I'm free. I already, I'm free. I haven't done anything wrong. If I did something wrong, I'd be in the I'm not in fear. I know. I'll give you a couple more minutes of my life. I'll give my free life to y'all that now aren't here to serve and protect us. Because the Supreme Court ruled that, right? That y'all it is not y'all's job to preserve to protect to serve and protect us. You know about that, right? That's what we should do. Got a free American here who's uh, being detained for they're infringing my rights, man. Just over here trying to express my my, my first amendment. He probably thinks I'm going to jail. Goddamn thing about freedom. Freedom is me being out here expressing my rights, protesting against a cult that traps families and destroys them and traffics children. Do you understand that they're literally trafficking children across state lines, across across country lines? You not like you probably don't. Know. Why do you think you telling me my name matters of anything? It doesn't. Because you've already conducted your investigation, right? Because you've already conducted your investigation. You already realized that I didn't make the call, and you still have me in cuffs like a fucking idiot. So here, do your job. I hate that they're doing this to him, but I love how he's handling it. Get a fool out of yourself, kid. Go fucking do something else, man. Fucking slime. This is what slime is right here. Fucking slime and grime. Fucking trying to lock up free Americans and express itself. Expressing their constitutional rights. Something this pig wouldn't fucking know about. Put the cuffs on me all night and tight. Look, man, I'm telling you. One that made the call. He literally said they reviewed the live stream and I wasn't the one that made the call. Obviously. I'm just amazed that his phone can still pick up his audio from that far away. I need to find out what he's doing, what he's using. to be here fucking arresting me having me detained say tell me you know you're not in the wrong tell me yeah all right do it look at this guys who would have thunk and that you know what i i, I do want i am i want every single card that is here
Am I free to go? Am I still detained? Am I, okay, thank you. I need your card. Sir, I'm going to need your business card. Sergeant, if I can please get your business card. If y'all wanted it, y'all wanted it, so here we are. Make the cops who act like this famous. I appreciate you, sir. I really do. You are They're not all bad. I, I, I just have to say, sir, but the ones who are so need to be famous. got this other one queued up to where he starts talking again dude they had to let you go nothing to hold you on i know <clears throat> i know they were literally making themselves look like fools guys like the moment he said that they knew i didn't make the phone call that's the moment i should have been released <sighs> Sorry, guys. I'm still trying to collect myself. My adrenaline, like, dumped. That was, like, for sure an adrenaline dump. Um, damn. Sorry, guys. Just give me a second. I need to just chill. Uh, they're probably watching right now. So if you're watching, you know you're in the wrong. And you already know you're going to be hearing from this shit. So sorry. 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 Guys, his name might not really be Jay, but he calls himself Jay. Stupid. Uh, let me see some of these comments. Yeah, no reasonable suspicion, no probable cause. <laughs> oh, my goodness. I was mentioned in Aaron's chat. Thank you. Yes, I... I I had to stand up for myself in that moment. They were, that man right there, he knew, the one that was right here, he knew that everything was fucked up about this situation. He knew. Um, what did they think he did? I, I don't even remember. We're going to find out what the call was about. I'm watching this on my TV as well. So different on the TV, he's streaming different or using to protect us. Anybody know? Yeah. So we're using something called Streamlabs, and we're able to stream in 1080p, 30 to 60 FPS, and do picture in picture and all sorts of other stuff. Oh, God. <clears throat> Who was uh, one? Okay, okay. I'll leave it at that for now as far as sharing his, um, well, uh, restreaming his stream. But remember, guys, if you're not yet subscribed, if you're just joining, uh, and you're not yet subscribed to Jay at Denver Scientology Audit. Subscribe to him if you want to show him some financial support as well. He's got his cash app here linked uh, in his YouTube channel. Uh, this is Scientology's strategy to deal with the streamers and the protesters. Scientology and their Office of Special Affairs watches every minute of every live stream of every SPTV or SPTV adjacent or SPTV support supportive uh, YouTube channel. Uh, in fact, it's probably the best part of the Sea Org members day. They probably have an entire unit dedicated to watching all the streams. And honestly, they should be thanking us because it's probably the most exciting thing any Sea Org member ever uh, was assigned to do. So you're welcome. You're all very, very welcome. And uh, they know gosh darn diggity well that we have all been collectively encouraging streamers to prepare to do these live streaming protests outside of every Scientology organization, not only in the United States, but around the world. And that we've been talking about the fact that Scientology has just launched out, they call it fired, has just fired out to every org in the world, a brand new executive command team. And now that these new command teams are going back to their orgs, they are about to relaunch uh, heavily the sidewalk recruitment efforts that Scientology had sort of become famous for for a number of years before the COVID lockdowns. I'm talking about the tables with the Dianetics books and the e-meters saying free stress tests, handing out personality tests, handing out flyers to come in and watch free movies. 
this stuff has largely been non-existent for the last four years since COVID, but it's all about to get kickstarted again. And where you have Scientology doing sidewalk recruitment, you also want to have some live streamer protests helping educate the public uh, about the cult of Scientology. And Scientology is absolutely freaking out about this. And the only thing they can think to do is to harass protesters with false phone calls to the police and the fire department. Uh, they're trying to play their own copyrighted music loudly around live streams to try to get uh, channels taken down for copyright infringement. That strategy doesn't work, but it's just one of the stupid things that Scientology is trying. Uh, it, I mean, it, anyone who's been paying attention to the LA streamers have seen the lengths to which Scientology will go to abuse the police, uh, to, to, even, uh, to even get members of the community to instigate physical altercations to try to create a pretext to getting protesters arrested. On the one hand, highlighting instances of police harassing protesters, it might seem like that might scare people away from doing the protesting. I think it's the opposite. We have to highlight the fact that no matter how Scientology tries to get the police to harass the protesters, we need to highlight that time and time and time again, the protesters emerge victorious. Even last week uh, with the three arrests of, it was DOA and it was LA Cam and it was Danny. They were arrested in L.A. They were actually charged and booked with conspiracy and illegal use of tear gas. They were actually booked and processed and charged. And L.A. Cam and Danny were released the next morning. DOA wasn't released for five more days. But what happened on day five? On day five, all of the charges were completely dismissed with prejudice, which means they can never be rebrought. And so does anyone want to spend a night or five nights in jail? Hell no. But the people need to know that it was bogus and that it was trumped up charges and there was no basis for them and they were immediately thrown out. Yes. The other good thing about highlighting the police interactions is so that people who do choose to do the live streaming protests are doing it with full informed consent. I want people to know what they're getting into. I want people to stay within their comfort zone and not to go outside of their comfort zone. And if you don't, if you're not comfortable interacting with the police, well, you might not want to go out there. But if you see what people like the LA streamers and what Denver Scientology audit is doing and what the Chicago streamers are doing and many others that I'm just not thinking of right now, if you see what they're doing and how they interact with the police and how they always emerge victorious, and if that's is something that you think might be up your alley, then get the heck out there and uh, dip your toe into that 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 pond or whatever, and uh, and me and the rest of the SPTV community will do everything that we can uh, to promote your channel and get you more eyeballs and followers and get you as much support as possible um, for those of you who are actually out there doing the protesting because this is what Scientology is terrified of. It really is. I know the test center on Hollywood Boulevard was shut down. The test center is just an extension of one of the organizations on L. Ron Hubbard Way. So someone could argue, yeah, they shut down a test center, but that's not a real org. Let's see what it looks like. Let's see how to shut down a real org. That's what's next. What will that look like? What will they do? At the very least, we will make it impossible for Scientology to recruit any new members on the streets outside of any of their organizations. And to me, that's what I call a victory. Uh, okay, so one last time, I'll show you if you're not yet subscribed to Denver Scientology Audit. Jump over there and subscribe to Denver Scientology Audit. I'm gonna try to interview Jay later today. Uh, thank you guys for hanging out with me this afternoon. Oh shoot, I should probably look at some comments here. Sorry guys, I almost forgot. <laughs> okay, Queen Thetan keyboard. Something fishy is going on. I live in Denver. Denver PD is notorious for refusing to respond. I was in a car accident downtown and they refused to respond. Somebody is calling in favors. Denver PD is crooked AF. Well, there you go. That's very interesting uh, to know. Queen Thetan, maybe you want to jump out there and... Uh... Jump out there and join Denver Scientology Audit one of these days for a little bit. Could be fun. Thank you for the super chat. I really appreciate it. Bubble Gum Buster. Maybe they're spoofing his phone number to make the phone call. That is 100% possible. I wonder how spoofing numbers, if it still shows up that way on a, on a police dashboard or switchboard or whatever. Um, Trail Blazer Luna. Denver PD is just as crooked as the LAPD. Um, uh, not happy to hear it, but that is what it looks like. 
Uh, let's see. Ch -ch 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 -ch. Jersey Janet. You said this to Serge on a live stream. There were a lot of things that changed for me in that lunch that Yumi and Nora had in Malibu that day. It messed me up for weeks. What did Serge say? There's a way that Serge has of describing a lot of the uh, components of Scientology that we participated in as children. Um, that, you know, when, when Scientologists, children Scientologists are led to believe they're not children. Uh, they're you could say they're adults, but Scientology believes we're all 67 trillion years old. So um, whether you're an adult, whether you're a child, Scientology does not make a distinction between children and between adults. And there's just some certain ways that Serge thinks about certain aspects of Scientology and talks about them that is different than I had ever allowed myself to think about them or talk about them because I always framed everything I did in Scientology as a child. Uh, I had already had it mentally framed for myself as if I were an adult. And you know, one thing that happens when you have kids of your own, uh, no matter how you thought of yourself as a child, when you have your own children, it really comes home. Yeah. Children are children. They're not adults. Even young teenagers are children. They're not adults. So anyway, without getting uh, too deep into specifics, it was just, just some things, um, that he described in a way that he described them that, uh, yeah, messed me up for weeks. Thank you for the question. Jersey Janet. Uh, let's see, Virginia Martinez. Hi, Aaron. Here's a little bit for better equipment, just like Jay. I have some Bluetooth microphones. I don't think Jay was using a Bluetooth microphone. If he was, we would have heard him crystal, crystal clear. We heard him quietly. Um, but anyway, uh, thank you for the super chat. I appreciate it, Virginia. Uh, let's see. David Griggs says, of the five prisons that I have been to as a contractor, ISP, CAC, CVSP, CMF, and CMC. Oh, oh, oh. Of the five prisons, CMC was the safest. Well, of course, David is talking about CMC where Danny Masterson is currently being held. And that, that's what I've heard, that CMC is basically, if you were to be in any California prison, the one you would want to be in is CMC. It seems like Danny, uh, relatively speaking, is in a bit of a cushy situation, uh, which is a little strange and has some people pissed off. Uh, but I will say prison is prison, folks. So even a cushy prison is prison. But uh, we'll probably be talking much more about that uh, sometime soon. All right, everyone. Thank you for hanging out with me. Much more to come today. Hit that subscribe button. Make sure you haven't been unsubscribed. Thank you, as always, to everyone who watches until the very end. And I'll talk to you soon. Okay, if you want to see my rock and roll songs, click right on this guitar. And if you want to see an, a different one of my videos, uh, then you could click right inside here. If you have six or not, subscribe.